What's up everyone? Today we are playing the Apogee game Rise of the Triad. That's it. This port is brought to us by DC Evolution. The link is in the description below. But yeah, we're taking a look at Rise of the Triad. This is um this is one of well basically Apogee eventually became 3D Realms, which obviously we all know for Duke Nukem 3D. This looks very much like the Terminator opening, you got to admit. Anyway, let's have a look. This is it, Rise of the Triad on the Sega Dreamcast. This is the shareware version, but this does come with some extra levels. As you can see, the difficulty select is very, very much like Doom, where you're either a wimp or you're really fucking awesome. So what we're going to do straight away is we're going to bring up Controller Cam. And here it is. So basically... The analog stick is your, it's the way you actually look, as well as your D-pad, if you press up, looks up, if you press down, looks down, your shoulder buttons are strafe, A, the red button that is, is shoot, and then Y opens up doors, which uh, you will need to do along this game, because very, very much like Duke Nukem in Doom, in this sense you need to collect key cards. that's right, this is, you can tell this is very much a precursor to Duke Nukem 3D. Now, graphically, this game is a very stunning looking specimen. Because you, you wouldn't expect this kind of game to really run that well back in, I believe this was 1995? I, I could be wrong. I can't remember if this was before Duke Nukem or after. But either way, this is a stunning looking FPS. Which I've never actually played up until this point, I believe. It's one that kind of... I never really took much interest in, in fact, no one ever really spoke about. Anyway, this is a smooth running port on the Sega Dreamcast, and it's one I think I'll return to, because i got to say, like I said, this plays very much like Doom and Junior Nukem 3, a little bit more like Junior Nukem 3D in the sense it's more of a go shoot everything and get a few keys. It's a bit less like Doom, I mean, Doom, I suppose, is that in its element, but... I think this is a little bit more, it's a little bit more violent, I'd say, in the fact that you blow people to pieces. Now, the main option of the game is you are a special force. You've been sent to an island to essentially take on a cult. As you can see, because the figures in this game look very much like, I don't want to say it, a bit like Nazis. That's right. And this is basically what I can clearly see they've based this game on. It's, it's a bit of history that we don't want to have to remember because it was such a monstrosity. But now, yeah, it's very much obvious that they've put this into their game design. But this is a fun game, I'm not going to lie, and you are the ones killing all of them. So, let's face it, that's pretty cool. Now, there are secret uh, doors and passageways in this game. There's tons and tons of those to be found, although quite hard to find sometimes. The only way you can see is kind of a bit of discoloration in the wall. But, obviously, that's the idea. It's a secret. Now, the weaponry, there's a different range. You range from pistols, shotguns, rocket launchers, and the massive rocket launcher you can see right here, which really does kick ass. As well as machine guns. Well, I've seen a machine gun and a pistol are totally unlimited. Now, the machine gun is great for an unlimited weapon, because not very often do you get a machine gun with unlimited ammo. And that is correct. You don't normally get unlimited ammo on a weapon like this, which is great. Now, like I said, the game design is very, very dreary. i got to say, this is a dreary-looking game, but then... Now, actually, you know, Doom was a lot more colourful. But then if you look at Duke Nukem, that's also quite dreary in its colour palette. Anyway, I've got to say, I love the way the uh, opening of the levels are always like this spinning-looking image. I really think that's really cool, and something not many... Well, I don't think any first-person shooters do. It's a cool thing. It's a thing that kind of sets it apart from Duke New Command Doom, and this is very much, it does have its own identity, and it is very different from Doom and Duke New Command. In this sense, yeah, okay, you still got to collect keys, you're still k killing a load of people, but the whole cult aspect, the whole dreary look, this is a different game, and I love the music. I, lust, I must say, the music is very rem reminiscent of Doom. It's very fast, it's frantic, it gets you on the edge of your seat, but it does, like I said, have its own identity. Like I said, you can obviously grab this for free, Click the link, download link below in the description. I've been Al from GamesRip. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.